Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Ultimans. Well, we are definitely not the sick men's of Europe. In fact, I'd say we are beyond the sick men's of Europe. Uh, anyways, though, right now we are thinking about using the French. I think our next allies are probably going to be the French. Because I believe they're pretty powerful people. And it would be pretty nice to have as an ally. Will they accept? Yes, they will. They just need to be persuaded a little bit. So that means we're probably going to have to get relationships up. Uh, seems like there's some kind of crisis going on. No, it did not happen! Yay! Okay, let's just get all these guys all happily doing stuff. And now that we have a little bit of free break, I can decrease taxes again. Because I really do like to do that. Oh my goodness, it's really nice. It's really nice when I have people that aren't collapsing from the weight of my empire. And are actually thriving in it. That's when the game becomes really fun, guys. That's when the game becomes really fun. Okay, 32... Let's see, go make more troops, yeah. France is definitely going to be a little bit hard of a nation, though, to get on our side, but it'll be worth it in the end, because having them on our side will greatly help all of us, or well, at least me. <laughs> okay, you guys definitely don't want alliance, because you guys are allied with somebody big. Japan might. No, because my army is apparently a little bit too big for them. What? I have literally the second biggest army in the game. I don't know how else I could, like, become big, literally. I mean, I have, that's, that's kind of weird, that's kind of a weird, like, saying. But, I guess I understand, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, but, it seems like we have a lot of different things happening right now. A lot of different people we have to deal with. We have a lot of land, too, by the way. <laughs> we have a ton of land. All the way down here to all the way up here. We literally have a lot of land. We have to deal with a couple more enemies though, like the Denmark, I guess. Uh, Canada is finally formed, so the, Brit the British have finally given up Canada. That means they are the easiest now to conquest. Hmm. You know, I might just want to free Cuba just so that they will, you know, leave my sphere of influence and become something different. By the way, all my paper factories make all the way up again. Uh, Gundaland uh, definitely needs factories. You guys are like basically asking for factories. Oh my goodness. And let's see. Revolt is about to happen in Tristian. Oh, Tristian Nasalis. <laughs> oh my goodness, Trist is about to form again, everyone. Huzzah! Hooray! Okay. Also, apparently I'm losing population. Which is kind of annoying me because I have I should have so much population that even minor stuff should not matter. Okay, and let's see. Da, 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 da. Man, I wish we could actually conquer the Danish next. The Danish would actually be a pretty good uh, people to conquest next, but they are allied with the British, and I really don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> oh gosh, but getting this alliance with France I think would definitely help us out. Uh, now they really are like, uh, definitely not going to, definitely not going to be friends with you. Uh, definitely not going to be friends with you. So no one wants to be friends with me. Dramatic Empire definitely does not want to be friends with me. Hmm. Great Britain probably does not want to be friends with me. America probably does want to be friends with me. Problem is, is that America is terrible allies. Like, seriously. I don't know what I'd use them for. Like, seriously, what do I use America for? They have absolutely no one else to attack next to them. So, yeah, we're kind of messed over for a little bit, but I'll be right back while I build another army. Okay, guys? See you guys in a second. Okay, back. Building another gigantic army right here in the capital to give me even a more of an advantage. Right now, it seems like we're going to have to increase taxes again to about 60. It seems like we just cannot get below 60 in this game. Uh, but 60 is about where my taxes are really good, and yeah, I can't really complain. <laughs> uh, but let's see, is there anyone we can release right now? Persia would be so nice. Anyways, though, we have to start thinking about who we're going to conquest next. Um, you know, it just might be time for us to just go after these regions by ourselves. I mean, you know, I think there's at some point we're going to have to start conquesting regions all by ourselves, so... Um, you know, it might be time, you know, it, it's going to be a scary thought, but it really might be time that we finally start, 
you know, conquesting and start conquering all these regions by ourselves. Um, I guess every nation needs to shed its big boy pants eventually. So, you know, it's going to be our turn here soon. Alright. Anyways, though, having America, though, having America, let's see, who's the greatest powers right now? Canada is going to be a great power here very, very soon. Wow. Canada, you moved up insanely quick. So Canada should be a great power here very, very soon. Let's see, cheap iron. Let's go start moving into uh, militaristics again. So I make sure I have a decent amount of military. Uh, they just create a gigantic state right there in the middle of stuff. Probably to try to gain this rest of this land, I'm guessing. Uh, I really don't know, but I think... Denmark's about to be pushed out of great powerness, which means we might have a chance to go declare war on them, which would be nice, but actually no, we won't, because Britain will still want them as friends. Hmm. We have to figure out who we want to declare war on, then. Man, there's just too many alliances right now, seriously. Oh, man. This would be the terriblest, because then I'd have, like, everyone on me, so let's see. You're allied with Luxembourg. Luxembourg... If I was to, okay, so the best way to go to war with France is probably I'm going to need to conquer Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Let's see. If we got the, if we got the, uh, North Germanic, the North Germanic Federation is allied with no one big right now. If we got them out of hating us, which is going to take us a long time, if we maybe got them out of hating us, we might be able to have an alliance with them, which may give us a little bit more power. But then again, it just... Again, it just it just feels like it's almost time to just do this all by ourselves. Like, it just feels like it. Okay, and let's see, you guys are not the troops that need to stay. You guys go this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are being built up right now. Okay, let's see, and then you guys... You guys can just, I guess, go this way? I guess? I don't... Are you guys a part of the building of men? Let me see. Let me see. 24. Yeah, you guys are. You guys are also a part of this. So, we're not going to interfere with any of this. This is going to be funny when this switches into a new nation. It's going to go from Austria to Trist. Even though Austria has actually cores on me and could actually become its own nation. I guess it's just basically they're giving up their claims to my land. They basically realize that my land is, oh please, Germany, don't be so rude. I'm trying to make amends here because I'm just trying to find somebody that wants to be my friend. Yeah, my army should not be an issue. Public relations, distance, political considerations. I wish I knew that what they really meant by that because that's really a, a really, really vague term if you know what I mean people really really vague I don't know what that exactly means it's just like political considerations well what does that exactly entail like can you eat it <laughs> you know something like that can you eat it I really don't know but there we go Tleist yay Tleist oh wait Tleist is still not there I'm still waiting for Tleist Tleist will form I guarantee it it will come, everyone. The day will come when Trist is formed. It will come. It has been come to pass. Because I said so. Okay. Uh, Brazil's at war with America. What? Uh, free Panama. What? Okay. They're at war with each other? I don't know what's going on there. That seems like a very weird political situation. But, hmm, okay, we're kind of in a very awkward spot, because I really do want to keep attacking, but I really have no one to attack at this current moment. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, because everyone has their own political considerations. If I was to attack the Germans right now, it'd probably be a very, very big, bloody fight. 62 troops, uh, let's see, France is 142. Ooh, that's a lot for France. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're obviously the better ally. I don't deny that, but I don't believe I'm going to be able to get them that quickly. 
Let's see. Uh, relations increased by two. It'd be a long time before I'd get them on my side. Germany might potentially just do it just because of why not. Okay, so Germany's probably who I'm going to try to form an alliance with because it's just nicer that way. Uh, I might even... Hmm. Well, Canada's about to become a great power. Just give it a second. Canada's about to become a great power. We have to wait for... I think one of these wars to end. Let's go right here. And let's see. Hmm. Oh, sorry, people. I'm starting to lose my voice now. Okay, let's go right here. Increase relations. So now they're positive with me again. How do they feel about me? They would accept. See what I mean? I knew the Germans would not turn me down. Oh. That went by way too quick. I couldn't. Oh, my goodness. I would have liked to have entered in that war. Oh my goodness, if I would have entered in that war, we could have potentially ended this right now. Oh my goodness, is there any way I could redo that? Is there any way I could redo that? Because that was totally not like... I was not turning them down, I literally had like two choices and then like instantly got declared war. Oh my goodness, I did not want that to happen. I definitely wanted to enter in that war. That war was like the war to end our war as well. Since we can't do that, what we can do is use this as an opportunity to... Uh, I guess go guards the French eyes out because uh, Wartenberg gets to have military access through me uh, but I'm pretty sure the British I mean the Germans will be able to win against the French I'm pretty sure um, you know what Solve alliance. Okay. We're going to see if we can do this. If the French move in quick enough, they'll probably be able to destroy a lot of the Germanic forces. And what we could do is that we could instantly scoop them up and take them over ourselves. So let's do that. <laughs> I know this is a big, you know, like, screw you to my ally. And I know this is very bad for me, people, but. When you think about it, this is like the best chance we have about about destroying the North Germanic Federation. That way, officially uniting all of Germany under one roof. Plus, the forces will be so tied out. Hopefully, it will take them about a year to do this. Let's see. It's going to take us 256 days. Hopefully, they'll still be at war at that point. We got more soldiers we had to release. Let's see. Who do we want to release now? I'm probably, you know, I'm probably not going to use the island of Java that much. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't really need it. So, let's see. The Principality of Java. No. Principality of Java. Actually, that would decrease a lot of my... Let's see, what's the difference between that and just Java? Uh, Java, 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 Java. Eight. Yeah, I kind of like Java. You know, let's go at least Modena. Cause that's a much smaller state, it's much easier to manage. Okay, and we also have a third party activist. Let's uh, go right here into a place. Uh, West Switzerland. Yeah, you guys get capitalists in there because you guys would really love that place. Okay. Let's see. Come on, French. Keep them occupied, French. Keep, and keep destroying all their armies and just keep Germany down. Germany state if you guys destroy all of Germany forces, I'll give you guys like a billion bucks. Seriously, I have a billion bucks. I could probably give it to you. And let's see, if we keep destroying all these guys, we gain what we need to in 280 days. Yes, they're coming for us! They're coming for us! Yes! Okay. Germany shoot. Didn't do it fast enough. They probably have enough men to fight back now. Oh man. Rats. And now they're probably angry with me for like. No, they're still happy. Wow. It was like from an alliance. Strategic interest. Probably because I'm doing that. Um. Hmm. Well. Ah, dang. Seems like we couldn't do it fast enough. 
Uh, could we beat the Germans by themselves? Are they weak enough yet? Let's see, Germany. No, they have way, way too many units. If we were trying to declare war on them, we would get swept up in a gigantic, like, war pattern. It was close, though. If I had known that they were going to do this, I would have declared war sooner. Ah, oh, man, that, that makes me feel so mad. Makes me feel so mad right about there. Let's see, though. French forms. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. If we get French on our side, then this would be pretty nice. Migrate our policy slightly. Okay. I think I have a different ally, though, that I could use for France. At least. Yay! Form an alliance. One more. One more click. Come on, friends. You guys love me. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. I think it's about time to go build a new army, by the way. So let's just go to go divide up these guys. Half you guys go right there. Half you guys go right there. Half you guys go right there. And see you guys in a second while I build up another army. Okay, new gigantic armies being built. But yes, having an alliance with the French could change everything. Get them all the way up. Alright, they just proved to Germany, by the way, that they're the biggest top dogs right now. Uh, but that means they're coming for us! Alright, they also have access to a couple of my lands. They're not going to be able to declare war until when? Uh, let's see. It's probably not for a very long time because they just got peace. But we're going to go see if we can destroy the Germans all by ourselves. I mean, I literally have an army that could potentially defeat the Germans. And I literally have enough allies that could help me defeat the Germans. We just need to get them all to the front lines. Okay? And literally, look at our troops. We have literally like three different armies of different potentialities and different uh, helping hands. So we're going to go see if we can go we go see. Let me go make sure Supply Limit, by the way, supports all this. Yes, it does! So, yes, if we just, like, group up all of our armies and actually go attack the uh, Germans, I believe we could probably win this. Krakatoa exploded! No! That's bad. <laughs> and I believe with that, we could possibly destroy almost the entire dramatic army in one move. Uh, a lot of places are starting to collapse. Uh, let's see. You guys are subsidized. You guys are subsidized. We could probably subsidize a lot of these factories. Subsidize everything. Because, like, we have to keep our industry going. Let's see. Hey, guys, group, group away. There we go. Let's see. Have We have way more army than they do. Oh, how we could get into the war again is we could just use Krakow. Use Krakow, get into the war, start destroying all their major armies, and then we could go attack. Hmm. With, my, with the amount of vassals I have, it would probably be a pretty quick war. Um, if not, then this is going to be a pretty lousy thing. Alright, you guys, by the way, form an alliance with me. So you guys know that we're friends. Yay! I'm friends with the French, who own most of the world. Okay. And... If only you guys had not declared war. Oh my goodness. I'd love to fight these guys and use them. Okay, uh, okay, so let's see. If I was to declare war right now, would I be ready? Um, hmm, that's an interesting question. Would I be ready? Would I? Not quite, wait, not quite yet. I need to move in just a little bit closer so I can get my men. Let's see, we're gonna have Wattenberg join in. We're gonna have a lot of people join in in this war. Let's see, we have a little bit of rebels right here, too. Okay, and yeah, I think we're about as ready as we're ever going to be, so. <sighs> Germany, it's time for you guys to die. Okay, call in you, because I think you guys would come in. Yes, you would. Okay, call in you, because I think you guys would come in. Kind of have to. Call in you, All right? Come in, thank you. Call in all three of you guys. There we go. All right, you guys next. There we go. Okay, next you guys. There we go. All right, then call in you guys over here. 
All right, and then you guys over here. Okay. I want to thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're going to be trying to kill off Germany, the biggest producer, well, one of the biggest producers, industrial powers in the game. If we conquer these guys, we basically, I think, become the biggest industrial power. Yes, we're going to be bigger than the UK, and we're going to have the biggest land forces in the entire game. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.